I've done some research because I never knew because I've always been told different. This is a 70 gallon tank and I used to have fish in it. It's aquarium. And then I had a Savannah monitor in it and a few other animals. I did some research and I've always been told that once you use a fish tank aquarium with a reptile on it that you can't put fish back in it. And all the information I've heard read online is they said that if you take vinegar, white vinegar, bleach, and warm water and clean it all out, especially the caulk and the corners, that it would be okay. But the fish that I buy, fish that I've always been in the fish. My dad used to have like 13 tanks running at one time. To tell you the truth, when I was a kid, I haven't had a tank been run, haven't had a tank running for probably a couple of years. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the vinegar, water, and wipe it all down. And then what I'm doing is is I'm just caught, cutting the caulk. See all his claws? Cut that up. Chew that up. I'm cutting the corner out only on the inside and clean it real well. Then I'll re caulk it just so there's no contamination. And if I ever move into my mom's house, God forbid when she passes away, I hope she lives until she's 500 years old. Because that'll hit me hard. But anyway, my dad always liked fish tanks. Um, I inherited another fish tank. Um, they were going to throw it out, and I told my dad no. This was my dad's pride and joy back in the day. It is a 125 gallon fish tank. I believe it is six to seven foot long and I want to mount that in the wall, not in this house because this house is an over improvement. And um, yeah. And then I inherited another fish tank that I haven't had running. I used to have Oscars. They're like piranhas. I got this from my grandma. It needs to be re -caught. This is really old school. It's a six-sided, like a stop sign. And I let a friend borrow it. And, um, you know, when you let somebody borrow stuff, uh, shit happens, okay? So I'll probably caulk that too. Because I don't go out to the shoe shack every day. I only go out to the shoe shack every other day because... Um, that's how you stay married, in my eyes, that you balance your life out with your kids, your wife, your hobbies. You can see where he tried to, um, he tried to patch it and, you know, he's a friend of mine, but I have to say he did a piss poor job. And I'll tell you why he did a piss poor job in my eyes. You see how wide this caulk is? What I'll do it in... I'll do with the tank upstairs is I'll probably go over oh maybe a half inch and then I'll put mask tape down and then I'll put the caulk in there and then I'll be able to pull the mask tape away this is just there's no reason to do do it like that it's just you know I'm gonna let it be what it's gonna be there's just no reason to do it like that anyway back to scraping the fish tank down and yes, you did see that. Um, I'm waiting for a part. I've had this for many years. I enjoy it a lot. This machine's probably, pinball machine's probably, I don't know, wow. I don't know, 83, 93, I don't know, 40 years old. Something like that. I had it signed by the designer. Let me see. I don't know why ain't the lights coming on something, right? Weird. Something, right? Hmm. Just a second, let me fix this. There we go. Wait for one part real hard to find because these targets won't go back up I 
but it's been down for a while because they send you the wrong part and yeah anyway Eagle Eye did do what they said they were going to do they priority mailed clear lenses for free glass for my fog lights because I wasn't happy can't complain about that oh it's cold in here these bulbs really okay I do buy it from Harbor Freight for a dollar a crack I just bought some more this is what happens they get hot at the end and they just they just burn out real quick and these these suck okay I've had many of these and some about them they just don't produce the air these things you buy at Harbor Freight for two bucks a crack they blow a lot of air so I bought two more of those and these I don't know I bought them Pittsburgh I bought them because I like the I'm not a one hand man I like them because they're real flexible they flex a lot but what I don't like is they got a they got a when you stamp they got a rough edge right here so I got to file it just a little bit but I like something where I can hold my whole hand on it I don't know why I like it when it's metal it flexes that was like nine bucks and my other little mirror thing like that everybody knows better but somehow I was doing like this and it was welding and it burnt the glass and I screwed it up so I had to buy another one. Oh, what else we got going on here can't beat tool mark I swear it only took like three days 4751 5752 your door you can't beat that at all slow SRT says the ultimate is the answer maybe it's because it's got the EC resin in it I don't know we'll find out I don't like it when they say a gallon I told you it was a point eight but that's just the way life is they do ship it in a nice box I'll tell you that anyway the temp outside is I don't know because I need a watch battery for this thing and I'm not gonna buy one because I hate buying watch batteries because they're so expensive so I can't do the temp outside so it's 2 9 12 15 it's Tuesday it's 38 degrees in here and then uh, humidity is 62 percent it is cold in here real cold and I'll show you the temp outside. Really can't complain. It's starting to snow a little bit. I can't complain because I've only had to plow like three or four times this year. I, you know, at 42 degrees, I don't believe it. But maybe them Walmart things don't work that great. That's probably true. Hopefully I don't run out of argon gas today. If I do, then I'll have to quit and do something else. I haven't roughed that in yet. Well, I roughed it in, but I haven't finished it because getting to the point where once I finish this off right here in the fender and do the frame before I do the gas tank, I'm going to pull the motor in the trance and the primary so I can get in and weld before this stuff starts rusting inside there. Anyway, that's all that's new here today. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Anybody know anything better than this? Because this used to be really good. And it sucks. Waterproof your stuff. I'd use this and I used the KIWI waterproof brand. And that doesn't work for shit either on your car hearts. But anyway, if anybody can tell me what waterproof stuff to buy for leather or canvas or material it'd be nice um waiting for the heat to go on yeah it's a cold dreary day but do what you gotta do ain't that right daniel boone go on take care of your business